A Georgia gun law is coming under scrutiny this week after it was cited as a reason for why Music Midtown canceled its music festival this year. The law allows people to carry guns in parks and other public places. And at the time it passed, opponents argued it would increase the number of shootings. Well, the lawmaking headlines once again now are Doug Richard spent the day looking into whether or not that proved to be true. A few weeks ago, Governor Brian Kemp signed an election year gun bill called constitutional carry and critics held. Eight years ago, the same thing happened with another Republican governor and another election year gun bill. What are you carrying today? Uh, 45, six hour. Surrounded by a throng of gun packing supporters, Governor Nathan Deal was in LJ to sign a bill that had acquired a dark yet catchy nickname. Everyone kind of calls it guns everywhere. The bill expanded the ability of permit holders to carry their firearms into churches, government buildings, and public parks. Critics of the bill, mostly Democrats, contended that the guns everywhere law would increase gun violence. And while gun violence did go up, Atlanta police data shows that in the four years before Deal signed that bill, the number of shooting incidents in the city rose by 26 percent. In the four years after he signed the bill, they rose by only 19 percent. Brian Robinson was a top aide to Governor Deal. So Democrats promised that the sky would fall, and it didn't. The bill deal signed is the one that requires cities to allow guns in public parks, including Piedmont Park. That park hosted Music Midtown, which had allowed guns over the last several years. The festival abruptly canceled this week. Democrats cite the cancellation as another reason to oppose looser gun laws, including constitutional carry. Asked about the gun violence stats we found, Democratic Party Chair Nakima Williams said this. I don't have all of the statistics that you have, but I have a second grader who just started second grade on Monday in Atlanta Public Schools. And I know that right now we have leaders in this state who are willing to put their Second Amendment rights above the right of my second grader to go to school and come back home alive. Williams and other critics of expanded gun rights cite polls that show that Georgia voters mostly don't like expanded gun rights. This year, early voting will start in the fall election, a few weeks after the scheduled date of the canceled Music Midtown. At the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.